In this video, we'll discuss how to solve compound or inequalities. Compound or inequalities are where we have two inequalities that have been joined with a union operation. So in this example, we have x greater than 4 or x less than or equal to negative 2. So the first inequality, we have all the x that are greater than 4. We have a second inequality where all the x are less than or equal to negative 2. The or indicates that we're unioning the two sets together. So anything that's in one set or in the other will be in the final set. So we take the two graphs and combine them into one graph like we see here. Then We'll also put the answer in interval notation. So we have two intervals, and then we can see the union symbol there, bringing the two sets together. Of course, sometimes we'll have more work to do before we can graph. In this example, we need to solve both of the inequalities before we can graph them and write them in interval notation. So 2x plus 7 less than negative 11. So if we solve this, we have to move this 7 over, divide by 2, and we have all the x that are less than negative 9. Same thing here, add the 2, add the 2. divide by the negative 3, and then we have to flip the inequality because we're dividing by a negative number. So we've solved the inequalities. Now we graph them. So graphing the first, we have all the x that are less than negative 9. Then all the x that are greater than negative 5. So to union the two together, to bring them together on one graph, we get our picture there. And then of course in interval notation, that's gonna be negative infinity to negative nine, unioned with negative five to infinity. So we see both the graph and the interval notation. The next example, again, we'll have to solve each of the inequalities, and then we see that because they're overlapping, we will get an interesting solution where any number is a solution. So again, we, gra we, we solve the first inequality, And we solve the second inequality. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So we have all of the x that are less than 1. We have all the x that are greater than or equal to negative 3. And then when we union the two together, it's anything that's in one set or in the other set. Well, every number is in one or the other set or even in both sets. So for the graph, it's the entire number line. Every number, real number, will be in one or the other or even both of the sets. So the graph is the entire real number line if we write that as an interval, it'll be going from negative infinity to positive infinity. So more examples. We solve the first inequality. 
we solve the second one. Remember to flip the inequality when you divide or multiply by a negative number. So we graph the first one, all of the x greater than 20. all of the x less than 5. And then for the union, the or, we combine the two graphs into one graph. So we solve, then we graph, and then we write the answer in interval notation. One last example here. And it's an or. So we have solved the inequalities. Now we graph each one. So it's all the x greater than or equal to 8 and the x that are less than 7. So for our final graph, which is the answer, that, so that this final graph is the actual graph that we're looking for for the solution set. And then we'll go negative infinity to 7, union, bracket, 8 to infinity. So we have, so again, we solve the inequalities, then we graph. This is the, the final graph that we're looking for. And then we write it in interval notation, which we have here.